It's time now to take a look inside the women's basketball playbook brought to you by Northside Automotive Group of Summersville. Back here with the head coach Mike Carey as the West Virginia Mountaineers get ready for a Saturday matchup in Big 12 play with the Kansas State Wildcats. And looking back at our win on Tuesday in Lubbock at Texas Tech, can't get much better than 24 to 4 to start that game off in the first quarter. Seemed like uh, the girls were ready to play Tuesday night. Yeah, absolutely. We come out ready to play, was playing pretty well. And then the problem was the second quarter happened. Yes, it did. <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. the problem. We're just not real consistent right now, Jeff, and, and that's why we struggle in some games. We're very inconsistent. We can hold a team to four points, and the very next quarter give up 24 points. And, and can't do that and beat good teams in this league. And so we've got to get better at that. Yeah, right now 17 and 6, 6 and 4 in Big 12 conference play. We're one game past the midway point in conference action. What grade would you give us? What, what, what would be the grade for our basketball team right now and, and why? And, and how can we, we get better? And, and how have we been better than we uh, have in years past? I'd give us a B. And the reason I give us a B right now is because we gave away some games. I mean, there were some games on the road, Jeff, we had. Uh, Oklahoma game, Baylor game. I mean, we had great opportunities to win, and, and, and we didn't win those. You, to get an A grade, you've got to win those close games. And we just didn't do that for whatever reason. So this second part, half, we got to win the close games. We just got to come out and win the close games and, and execute, out execute the other team the last two minutes. If we do that, we're going to win some big games. Yep. Kansas State, the opponent on Saturday, beat the Wildcats by their, uh, at their place by 19 points in Manhattan, Kansas. They come in here, they've won four of their last six games. We'll talk about the matchup. Obviously, an uh, interesting matchup down low with Lene Montgomery and Bree Lewis for Kansas State. Yeah, they go into her, man. Uh, you know, uh, Lene, the first time we played him, got in foul trouble. I think the first quarter got yeah. two fouls and had to sit out and was in foul trouble the majority of the game. Uh, they have three point shooters, mm -hmm. which makes their post that much better. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have to defend. We're going to have to stop the ball in transition, get out on their three point shooters, but yet get weak side and put ball pressure on the passer. Go with the lob and get weak side help. If we do that, we'll be in good shape. Yep. Really attacked their zone in that first game. Two three matchup zone, nine threes in the first half. Obviously, life's a lot easier when you're hitting shots against the, against that zone defense from beyond the three point line. Absolutely. And if I remember correctly, we were banking some threes yes, in. We I mean, we were shooting. And, and against the zone, if you're hitting those threes, man, it's easy. It's easy to attack it. Now tomorrow may be a different story. When you're not hitting your threes. Jeff, you got to start going inside. You got to start driving the zone. You got to start getting some offensive rebounds. Got to get to the foul line. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that and you stand around and shoot threes all, all day and you're not hitting them, it's going to be a long day. Yep. Coach, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Comments of the head coach, Mike Carey. Tomorrow, the play for K pink game. All right. So grab uh, these when you enter the Coliseum at 1 p.m. Eastern tip time. The first 5,000 fans receive the pink rally towels courtesy of WVU Medicine and Print off your free ticket for admission to tomorrow's game, to Saturday's game at wvusports.com slash pink.